I think that there is something in, I don't know if this goes back to caveman kind of mentality, but whenever you see an empty screen inside of a CAD software, I don't care if you're using SOLIDWORKS, Inventor, whatever, there's like an urge to get something on the screen. Like, can't, like just gotta get going and start getting something on the screen. The best advice I can actually give is don't start inside of Fusion. Start on a notepad, and, and if you, you can't, luckily you can't see that down in the back. If you look at my drawings, um, there's a reason I use CAD. I'm horrible drawing anything up, but what happens to me is whenever I gotta start a job, if I sit down a pen and paper and I start sketching something up, that's when questions kind of like start and it coming into me when I start drawing it up on a piece of paper. If it was a fixture design, a new part design or something, just kind of like sketching up what I think I want to put into CAD. That's when things like, what size end mill do we need to use for machine this part? Or, you know, how are we going to hold on to the second operation? Or, you know, is the different materials? What's the tolerances on this dang part that I'm about ready to, to model up? So I actually recommend that before you even start doing anything on the screen, that you kind of like start sketching up on a piece of paper. That's old fashioned as I wrote here, create more questions. Um, I actually had a, a friend of mine who uh, always had an example on, he would, before he started modeling anything in CAD, he would always ask himself, what will the customer come back and ask for questions? Or the boss come back and ask for questions? So he gave an example of like, I'm going to ask you to use your imagination. A salad bowl where the walls are made out of leaves. So think like eight leaves that kind of creates like a salad bowl. He had to model that one, that one up. And he said to himself, hmm, where is the customer going to come back and ask? Maybe, oh, that looks great. How about 14 leaves? Or six leaves, right? And if you think about that before you even start doing anything on CAD, then maybe you can start using some of the intelligence in there, like parameters and things like that. So you can, you can change you know, the number of leaves by just changing a parameter right inside of, uh, inside of Fusion. So if you're not familiar with, uh, we have the parameters in here, we can change one dimension, or in this case, like maybe a circular pattern, and you can update your model from six to eight leaves. So instead, when the customer comes and says, hmm, great, I wonder how we look with 14, instead of you're like, dang it, come, to pay, come back in three days when you have redone everything, maybe you can be like, ah, good question, and just change one parameter, so boom, everything shows up like that.